Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another Oracle and Tarot uh, card reading. And this is going to be for January 14th to the 20th. And let me make sure I got my dates right here. Yes, the 14th through the 20th. And we're using the very beautiful, the Spirit Animal Oracle card deck by Colette Baron reed very beautiful deck. This was her last deck that she made in 2018. I'm so full, looking forward to uh, her next deck. It's going to be a Goddess Oracle deck coming out at the end of February. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And for the beginning of the week, I'll take the card from the top. Dolphin Spirit. In the middle of the week, I'll take the card from the center. Seahorse spirit. Love seahorses. And bottom will be the end of the week. Dog spirit. Love, love dogs. Never met a dog I didn't like. People? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so card number 20. Dolphin spirit. Beautiful dolphin. And it says, this and that are true. Want to look and see what that means in the book. This and that are true. And the meaning behind this card is saying, when you most want to be acknowledged as right and see other ways as wrong, Dolphin Spirit appears as a reminder that the story of your suffering and righteousness is a little more complicated than you are admitting right now. Do you want to see things in black and white and be rigid in your ideas of what's correct and what's not? Release your rigidity and embrace the fluidity of life as you recognize the grays that remind you that there are two sides of every story, an upside to each and a downside and a blessing in every challenge. What you think is wrong may end up being right. So let Dolphin Spirit soften your heart so that you make the best decision at this time, playing with the possibilities that present themselves. So yes, yes, yes. This is a card about being open, okay? And not being as closed-minded, okay? Allowing yourself to maybe see uh, for a moment what it's like to be in the other person's shoes, okay? Maybe you need to make a decision and you're just so stuck in your ways that you can't possibly see anything else except the way you feel it should be or what should have been done or what shouldn't have been done. When we open ourselves to the possibility and soften our heart, we're more likely to make the right decision. If we act out of anger or just disagree with someone who doesn't agree with our beliefs or our thoughts, that lowers our vibration. So this is telling you to be open. You may have to make a decision this week don't be so rigid and, and, and hell-bent on your way is the right way and, and whatever else is wrong. Open your heart to whatever this is and try to see the other person's point of view. And then we have Seahorse Spirit Watch and Wait, card 53. So maybe this decision is still hard for you to make and it's the middle of the week and we don't know what to do. This is telling you to wait watch and wait. Maybe observe someone's behavior. Okay. Maybe, you know, do a little investigation on it. Look things up. Do your homework. This is telling you not to make a decision in the middle of the week. Watch and wait. Sometimes there are things in life that aren't visible when we're so clouded emotionally and so emotionally charged that can't, can't even see straight. We're not even thinking logically. Give yourself some time to calm down. Maybe meditate. Go within. When you get some quiet time, your intuition is going to feel like it's just so much stronger than when you're so busy. Watch and wait. Maybe this means there's going to be some kind of a sign that's going to reveal to you what you need to do. But if you're hustling and bustling around and not paying attention to the signs, not paying attention to your gut feeling, you might make the wrong decision. So take a time out in the middle of the week. Don't make a decision. Watch and wait. Watch for the signs. Watch people's behavior. Put all of these things together and you're going to know what the right answer is. 
And then the end of the week for the weekend, we have card 19, Dog Spirit. How beautiful. And this card reads, be loyal to what you love. So we're going to stand up for what we believe in. Doesn't mean that we're going to be so rigid that we can't understand other people's points of view or see where they're coming from. You can be open. But still, you know, be true to yourself, not in a rigid, mean, nasty way, in a soft, kind, loving way. If you have to refuse something or not accept something, I always say to someone when they start getting heated and argumentative, and it seems like when you discuss, you know, religion, politics, sports, those are the, the hot topics that I try to stay away from at all costs. What I do is I just say to them, Let's agree to disagree. I feel this way about something. You feel that way about something. Just because you don't agree with me doesn't make you wrong. And just because I don't agree with you doesn't make you wrong. It's how we perceive things. It's what we prefer, what our preferences are, what our likes are, how we were raised, what our background is. So this card is telling me, you know, be loyal. Be loyal to what you have. Stand up for yourself. Uh, you might have to take a stand on maybe something that you believe in. Okay, uh, but be loyal to yourself, be true to yourself, and uh, again, take time to make your decision, and once you make your decision, make sure that it was something that you really felt, you know, was right for you. Don't just go along with the crowd or, or decide to do something just because it's the popular thing to do or it's expected of you. Be loyal and true to yourself is, is what I get from spirit. And, you know, to also be loyal to those who are loyal around you. You know, show them the support that they need. And, wow. And, and also it, embrace your authenticity is another thing I'm getting from spirit. That Don't sell out. Don't try to be like the rest of the, the crowd or, or someone who's popular, somebody you look up to. Be yourself. Embrace what you love because that's where your authenticity comes from. That's what it means to be real. Very interesting reading. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.